What's going on? Welcome back to the huddle. The NRL season has only got five rounds to go. I can't believe we've already pumped out 20 rounds of Super Coach. Now, something that isn't coming to an end but is just about to start again is the English Premier League. And if you haven't already, make sure you go and check out my new channel, FPL Dare. It's FPL but with a twist. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at FPL Dare. The link is in the description. Do all the YouTube type things to support the channel, like subscribe and share with all your mates that play FPL. But let's get Back in a super coach, looking at round 20, there were some absolutely massive scores out there. I scored 1,272 points, which was only a ranking of around 13,000. Now, it was all thanks to Captain Cook, Teddy and Fergo all going massive, but there were some massive scores out there and 1,272 points moved the huddle up 80 places. It's nice to see a green arrow and we're now sitting, again, it's a new personal best for the season at 508. So got to be stoked with that. Another green arrow. Let's hope we can stay inside the top 1000 to achieve our goal and there's only five rounds to go come on so looking into round 21 i've only got one trade that i'm thinking of making i do only have three trades left but I'm thinking of trading out Will Hopperwade and bringing back to the team Latrell Mitchell. Now Hopper had that massive week in round 18 scoring over 130 points, but the Dogs have got a couple of tough fixtures coming up and Latrell Mitchell and the Roosters look like they're finding some form and with the goal kicking, Latrell Mitchell looks like a near must in the centers. He has turned up the last two rounds in a row, so I'm not sure he can keep that up and he has shown in the past he's a bit lazy with his hit up numbers so I wouldn't call him a must have because he could have a quiet week but the way he's going, the way the Roosters are going at the moment, they've got a couple of nice fixtures coming up that I'm hoping he can get a few conversions. He's got a break even of minus 34. I know break evens and cash don't really matter anymore but if you want to get him in, get him now because he's probably going to be above 600k next week. That trade leaves me with two trades left and 10 grand in the bank. So looking at the starting 17 this week, there's a few tough decisions on on who to start and who to bench. Now, I'm super frustrated at Jai Arrow. I bought him in and then he had that knee injury flare up again. I'm still thinking of leaving him on the pine this week and playing Ryan James ahead of him, even though James only scored 49 points last round. I didn't play Whittup last week, but I'm going to play him and leave Cody Walker out as the Rabbitohs are versing the Storm and Whittup and the Dragons are coming up against the Warriors at home. Tamalolo has slumped in form a bit, but I feel like it's just too risky to leave him out. He is coming up against the Roosters and I am hoping that he does step up. Up. So let me know what you think of this starting 17. Would you make any changes? And also let me know what you think about my trade and what trades are you thinking of making for this round? Looking at the captain and vice captain, I just can't take the captain armband off Cook. He is playing on Friday night though, so it only leaves me with one option and that's Reese Martin for the vice captain armband. Now Martin is coming up against the Broncos, but he's shown in the past he can go massive. Broncos might be a tough opponent, but it is a game in Sydney, Bulldogs home ground, so let's hope Reese Martin the dogs just step up. Martin gets heaps of conversions and who knows, he might pull out a miraculous ton. Now again, let me know what you think of the team. I am a bit nervous not playing Jai Arrow and Cody Walker, but with their matchups, their fixtures, it looks like it's their week to sit out, but it's going to be a nervous one. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'll post any changes to my captain and vice captain. And also if I feel like I need to change my starting 17, I'll post it over there. Thanks to everyone who has got involved in the comment section and has subscribed. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe for more NRL Supercoach content. Join the huddle. I'll see you soon. Let's go.